Do you remember the um, the film called District Nine that was well? It came out some time ago now. Um, I forgot which year, but District Nine was a a film that was um, it was it was new, unique in its own right. It was based in South Africa, and it was a sort of alien film. Now it was a mixture of being quite odd, but at the same time it was quite unique. And the same director actually made this film, if you haven't seen it, which is Elysium. Now it says here, it confirms Blomkamp, Neil Blomkamp, who, met, who is a director, as one of the potential sci-fi greats of the, the decade. Now I would partially agree with that because Elysium was a, a really good film. The special effects were amazing, you know. But at the same time, maybe the storyline did lack slightly. But before we can go criticizing the film and giving it praise, let's get into the box. So this is the Blu-ray um, version of Elysium. And the reason why I do these sort of um, Blu-ray unboxings, DVD unboxings, is because I like discussing the films. I like watching films, and I'm sure a lot of you like watching films in your, your spare time. And it's worth talking about these films because the film industry is booming quite um, obviously uh, with all the, the great films that are coming out. And it just gives something to talk about. The videos are a little bit bland if you don't speak about the, the film and its storyline. And I just feel that um, I should be sharing my experiences of films with you guys and girls. And hopefully you can discuss it with me in the comments as well i'd be very interested to know your take on um the films that i unbox on the channel and perhaps even review um at the same time so this time round it's elysium and i went to see this at the cinemas in 2013 i was sat in the cinema and i found it pretty entertaining it was it was a good film great film to watch and all and um i was just quite impressed with the visual effects so this has got uh, the uv ultraviolet which is obviously becoming quite big um in in well in this country anyway the united kingdom um and we have this nice engraved elysium um sort of front cover um logo so what i've done is i've just taken out the um the uv code and the other code for this um what is it? My movie extras. So we've just got a promotional material. Wait, we've got the inside. There's um, Kruger in his suit. What I mean by suit is his sort of metallic machine suit. It's like an exoskeleton of metal and it's super strong. And then you've obviously got the back of Matt, da Matt Damon there in his um, skeleton suit as well. And that's just about it for the inside. And if we move around to the, the back, we've just got the the baddie, Kruger. We've got the Jodie Foster. And now we've just got a sort of scene there of Spider, he's called. And he's sort of men by the looks of it. So, um, it does look a mastered in 4K. So this film is obviously uh, one that makes full use of the the 4k so one big question i have is that a space station called elysium i know it's only a film but the space station elysium was built um and this is set in 2154 so obviously the space station is well established so it just makes me wonder well we are not going to see much of getting to mars within well hopefully in the next uh, 40 years or so we'll be able to get to mars and they expect that in the next 140 years, we're going to create a space station that's this big, you know, massive space station. And even him and his child was looking up at this thing. Just makes these um, sort of questions in your mind. But nevertheless, it's a good film. It's brilliant. The effects are just wonderful. And I can't look, I can't wait to, um, to watch this. So thanks very much for watching this, um, watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video.